This is the BBC reporting from Beijing. The Chinese government has have been recently praised for its lenient and democratic use of its press. Xinhua has moved from being used to perpetuate state propaganda to actually covering real world news. Here with me, I have Xinhua's very own correspondent, Anne Gilman. Anne. Yes, uh, Xinhua has been receiving international attention for the increasing levels of journalistic ability. We believe that it's due to the strong relationship with the Ministry of Propaganda and also the strong leadership demonstrated by Xi Jinping and Le Keqiang. Um, it's, too, it's unfortunate that other uh, news resources around the world are receiving funding cuts and lack of support from what are supposed to be transparent governments. The way I see it is that as, as, as isn't it interesting to see that as countries that are perceived to be undemocratic, like China, mm. are actually more democratic with their press than traditionally democratic countries like the, like the, 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 the UK. I think this just goes back to a recent report mm. released in China about the happiness and security and optimism of the Chinese people. Right. Chinese leaders feel secure in their leadership of the nation, which I don't know, perhaps Cameron's administration is not so secure. Where the UK government will go on from here, particularly with its undemocratic use of the press and in cutting BBC funding, no one knows. But for now, what we do know is that China is vastly improving. This is Amal Ali, reporting for the BBC.